little Andre turns to see who's calling him. After all the difficulties he's already experienced at such a tender age, he looks forward to every kind word. This is his sister Vika, his only sibling. They are almost always together. Together they lived through tragedy. Born into poverty in a town near Odessa, they suffered beatings from a father who was always drunk. That was the life they knew, until one day they witnessed their father murder their own mother. Today, Vika and Andre are here at Mishpacha Orphanage. My first reaction, of course, was sadness and pity because it was so obvious that these children had such a troubled family background, and that's putting it quite mildly. The little girl is very sweet and open and didn't mind talking to us from the beginning. But Andrushka didn't say a word. He would make some sounds and noises, and that's all. When Andre arrived, he weighed less than half of the average boy his age. He flinched at every tiny sound, and he avoided human interaction. He would lift up his arms to defend himself, as if to avoid being beaten. We saw this often, especially when he would lie down to sleep. When we would put him to bed, he was trying to protect himself. Over this year and a half, Andre has changed. He started to speak more and interact with other children. He smiles and has adjusted well to his new life. Despite the circumstances and the sad story that brought them here, Vika is cheerful, outgoing, and happily participates in everything we offer. Everything we're doing, she does with pleasure. She enjoys helping, and she's always the first to raise her hand when we ask for volunteers. Her attitude is amazing. Vika and Andre are always together, at playtime and also at mealtime. Even with all they've been through, the children are learning to be optimists. Now everyone loves to play with Andre. He'll let us pick him up and hug him. Of course, he's learning responsibility too. He knows what's right and wrong, what he can do and what he shouldn't, like any child. But he has very good behavior anyway. And his sister is remarkable. She has a wonderful memory. She knows poems by heart. She loves to dance and takes part in everything. The children have a special place in the hearts of their teachers and caretakers. They are very loved here, though not from pity, but from their unbelievable yearning to be happy. Here at Mishpacha, we want to make sure that Vika and Andre never know what it means to be alone again, that they should make their way through life happily together and with their new family. <laughs>